Labor's anti-AUKUS delegates getting raucous in front of caucus. Will this be the wedge that the Coalition uses to finally drive open a nuclear industry in Australia? Putting the Minister on the defence. I know that the word nuclear evokes a strong reaction. Prompting a senior left faction figure to go on the attack, invoking Neville Chamberlain's appeasement of Hitler before the Second World War. Strength deters war. <laughs> appeasement invites conflict. I cannot let go an inference or accusation that the resolution that I move is in some ways akin to Menzies, in some ways akin to Neville Chamberlain. The Prime Minister intervening. These are the choices of a mature nation, a nation that understands that a bright future calls for more than sunny optimism. Before finding support on the floor, making AUKUS nuclear submarines an official part of the Labor platform. All those in favour of Amendment 300A say aye. 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 All those against say no. Aye. I declare it carried. This has been the most contentious issue of the conference, but despite some vocal opposition, Labor will put its commitment to AUKUS in its national platform. That speaks to a broader agreement across the party, that while this debate isn't over, there's a stronger commitment to making this a long-term government. The AUKUS opposition won't go quietly. This is about American power in the Pacific and Asia, not about security for Australians. But the alliance holds firm. Tom Lowry, ABC News, Brisbane.